it was like we were watching television, except, you know, it was us this time. There were some people that came home to no house whatsoever. There were folks in the fire zone who came back to ashes on the ground. Those people who, you know, had four to five feet of water in their house actually considered themselves lucky. Christine's involvement began even before the storm. Uh, Christine sat in this very room with us as we opened up our emergency response and command centers. Chris set up a support system for us to be able to respond to the various needs we had because, you know, we basically had nothing. We lost pretty much everything. Well, we were able to reach out to Christine uh, on any given time uh, or somebody from her staff almost 24-7. Uh, we were able to reach out to Chris, ask her the question, get the information, get some response, get some help. She actually was, you know, hands-on, on the street, meeting with people. What can I do to help you? She showed the, uh, her compassion. Christine showed her devotion. I saw firsthand her concern when, when she met uh, an individual out on the street in front of this building. And, you know, there was a true, uh, and it was not anything that was made up, it was, it was a true concern for what that person was going through. You know, that's a quality that a lot of people don't have.